Hello world, and welcome to the mystery game. Ooh. Okay, so just- You're not a ghost. I might be. You are definitely not. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that's love of Ami over on, there on the couch. Say hi. Hi. How's the balance? We'll ask again once we get the actual game's done. Um, okay, so just as, or actually just Say for- hi. Hi. New person. Oh. Oh. Hello, Pineapple Fellowship. Do you know this person from something? I'll find out once I find out that they're, who they actually are. Oh. Um. Pineapple, who are you? You must know. Uh, thank you for the host, Ami. Um, I'm gonna turn the, the game audio down just a little bit just while I'm talking. Then I'll bump back up. So I can talk. Okay. So, as a background, the idea of the... Hi, Scully. Um, hi, the, Scully! The idea of I the... I need to say hi and talk over Toa like an obnoxious person! Okay. So, the idea of the mystery game was... So, I like collecting the Steam cards. And I also have, just I feel like most people do, a ridiculously large backlog of Steam games that I have never played. So, through streaming, I decided, okay... I'm gonna try some of these. So earlier today, I went through, made a list of all of the Steam games that I have that have cards that I haven't earned, so games that I've never played, and that came out to 260 games. So we went to random.org or .com, I can't remember which. I chose a randomly chose a number, and I installed that game, and I also installed a. Seven armies. Oh god, one for each day of the week? <laughs> um, and I also installed a backup game in case one game ended up being not good. And then if both games end up being not good, then I'm going to default and play FTL, because that's a good game. Um, so yeah. In your opinion? It, in, it's a fact. FTL is a good game. Not, but okay. It is my most played game on Steam. Okay, so... Let's dial the audio back up a little bit. As we reveal the very first mystery game, which is Drum Roll, please. Hopefully that comes up on the mic. No, Plan C is not a third game. I only installed two new games. Plan C is default to a game that I know. Okay, so the mystery game is. Sherlock Holmes, the Devil's Daughter. Um, so yes, just by pure coincidence, the first mystery game is actually a mystery game. That being a game which is, I would assume, about a mystery. Um, so I haven't played this before, as obvious, and in fact some of the mystery games are going to be ones that I don't even know what they are, but I just happened to, to get them in a humble bundle, or just because it happened to be free, so let's give this a try. New game. Um, Keen Detective or Master Sleuth? Um, I don't know. Just look, let's let's start with Keen Detective. Okay, that. Pray and tell. Plan D, a fourth. <laughs> and could, Plan E, a fifth game. I, I thought plan. about doing three games, but I feel, decided two was enough. You're enough. Some of your clues form an important. Telephone. You can open the. Nope. Okay. Continue. See if this is any good. I'm going to crochet and listen and talk all at the same time. Right. I'll mute the mic for the opening cutscene.
48 hours earlier. We all were dead. What? No. Yes. Oh, I do apologize. Am I disturbing you? No, please. Come in, Mrs... My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. Oh, I didn't have the pleasure to... Uh, I am Dr. John Watson. Could we provide you with any assistance? Uh, she is not the concern, Watson. I'm... <laughs> then, what is this about? Uh, that child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold. And he is upset. What happened to him? Little Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, boy, come in. Warm yourself by the fire. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Miss de Bouvier? Well, I... It is not as though we are disturbing you-know-who. Are we? I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. His illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Of course, I understand. How very sad. But there is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Most certainly. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. Very well, then. Thank you, miss. Okay, let's adjust the audio, because it's come to my attention that apparently it is quiet. Does anybody else think it's quiet, or is it just me? Mm, no, I'll, I'll, I'll bump it up. Okay, your voice is way louder than mine. Oh, I okay, yeah, I'll, I'll bump it up. Um, maybe I can put the voice up a little bit. Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I actually quite like Sherlock Holmes, so, and so far it seems like... He's a, a cool dude! Yeah, so far it seems accurate. I don't know about a neighbor, but the whole, like, him getting bored, that that's accurate to the original stories. So he was never the most social characters. Oh, but, now he wasn't, like, the, the most asocial either. I feel like that's, um... Some modern interpretations make him out to be much more of a jerk. Okay, let's try this. Zoom. Thanks for stopping by, Speedwave. Why are you I here? He was leaving already. What? I thought he was leaving already. The way you worded that. I worded that poorly. I agree. Because <laughs> I think that's what he says when he says goodbye to people. Oh yeah, I think that's also what I say when I say goodbye to people. Okay, well you can't. Hello, say that's anything. a better word. <laughs> Why are you here? Now tell me, boy, what brings you here? It's, it's my father, sir. <laughs> He's missing. I, I don't know what to do. Oh. Nothing else for me to click on. Oh, I guess here. I can just stare at him. Awkwardly. Build a character portrait by paying attention to the details and determining their meaning. A forward, backward, escape. Look at his eyes. Red eyes. Probably more sad than being sick. What else do you have? Ooh, pale skin. You have pale skin. Could be malnutrition? I don't know. Maybe? Pale skin. Oh, wait. Hmm. Might be more that. Born in 1987, Tom is eight years old. Go here. No, neatly mended. Caring parents. Okay, you're mumbling. Sorry. And that comes through. So if you're okay. going to talk, you should so, say it okay. in He's a volume that is not. I'm volume. being pensive. Hmm. Okay, caring parents was neatly mended. That is much better. Hmm. What else do we have? have me. Sometimes
sometimes I don't hear you in real life, but I hear you on the stream. What do you so mean? So I respond late. Yeah, that's fine. What yeah, else do we have about him? Oh. Yeah, he's not, he's not sick. Um, what else? Other things do we have about him? Oh, his hands. Left arm. Is lefty. Mm, let's guess that he's injured instead of weeping. Or no, injured instead of malformed. You're malformed. Not really. What else do we have? We're missing one detail. Does he have a nose? Yeah, he has yes. a nose, but I can't select it. Yes, he hi, does. Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Welcome to the stream. Hi, 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 hi. Yep, Ami is here. No, that was that, that. That's not me. Oh, oh, here it is. A map of London. You can read and use a map. Imprecise character portrait. Okay. Hmm. I messed up. Imprecise character. Ah, okay. I can't redo it. Hmm. Tom is eight years old. His clothes are well worn and have multiple patches, neatly applied. Tom's parents are concerned for his well-being. His pale skin indicates that he is suffering from malnutrition. He looks sad and red eyes. He has been weeping very recently. I feel kind of bad. People are a little more excited that I'm here than you are. No, that, that, that's fine. I'm also, I am also more excited that you're here than I'm here. Because I'm always here when I'm around. But you're not. You seem confused. That's I shall just... deduce that I have puzzled you with my statements. Because you are confusing. I don't think so. <laughs> That's what Trevor said. Well, no, that would be. He, you're, you're definitely here. I can see you. No, because I said, nope. Right. Not me. Okay. Um, and that was in response to that. So, can I change my opinion to this guy? Maybe he's not injured. Can I not fix that? He doesn't really look injured. Oh, so maybe it is malformed? Oh. Oh, I can't change... No, I guess... Can I not change it? Hold on. I'm investigating how well I can investigate. <laughs> this is the downside of playing a game that you've never played before. I'm crocheting. I've done that before. Apparently I can't change my mind. I'm um, the worst detective ever. Um, what's his name? What's his name? George Hurst, sir. Oh, the father's name. Miss no. Missing? Missing, eh? And what do the police say? The police? They don't believe me. They say he's just abandoned me. But that's a lie. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Choose the evidence that confronts the statement of a character in order to continue the investigation. Oh, so that's a little bit like the... Doubt or lie in L.A. Noir. Um, caring parents. Audio is better, by the way. Your clothes Yay. are well mended and you can read. Your parents may be poor, but you are loved. Yeah, well, it's just the two of us now. My mother died when I was a little one. And that's just one more reason for not leaving you. Your father doesn't seem the irresponsible type. He's very yeah. good to you. Well, that's right. But he has no fixed work, so he often takes odd jobs for the day. Because... That's all he can find. Should stop playing with this cord that's well, in front of me. This time, take he it. Didn't come take home. the cord. I'm crocheting. I don't want to crochet with the cord. Oh well, I just don't want it in front of me because I will fiddle with it. What happened? Uh, when was fiddle. the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job, but this time, he was acting a bit strange and angry. Strange how? Strange. In what way? He said to me, son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you <laughs> dare move from here. That's not good. I think something went wrong. What about a library? I keep yawning already. That's oh, not good. Don't. Three long weeks? Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I, I can look after myself. Well, apparently not, because you have malnutrition. What 
do you mean, sir? No, maybe not. Nothing. I was digressing. Oh no. Okay, that's something I got got wrong. Hmm. Let us go. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. Twelve Dorset Street, the first floor, door E. It's in Whitechapel, sir. But I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. Dun, 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 dun. So, hope everyone is doing well tonight. If not, or if you are, speak up! I'm bad at this, aren't I? How's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm gonna put on the live headphones now, okay. because... I'm getting confused. Okay, so this is the first of our mystery games, which in this case happens to be an actual mystery game. This is Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. No, it's the Trevor game. It's all about Trevor. No, that's Dead Space. <laughs> Dead Space is the Trevor game. Wait, what? 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 What ain't no country I've ever heard of? They speak English and what? I wouldn't continue that if you want to keep this a PG stream. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I'm making a chipmunk. It will be chipmunk. My archives. I can always consult with it if needed. Let's check out this room. No, chipmunk. My I'm chipmunk. I can always consult with it. My archive is more than one place. I am not a chipmunk. Yeah. I am Sherlock Holmes. I'm my analysis point. table. It's useful for my work. This is Watson. Poor child, Holmes, you should help him. See? That's basically equal Trevor. Poor child, Holmes, you should help him. Oh, and I forgot so. the dog's name. I remember the dog from dog, the books. Dog, it's cute. Brave Toby. Ah, Toby, yes. Best nose in the British Empire. It's cute. Um, I want it. Toby is Can also Toby? in the Great Mouse Detective, if Can anyone else remembers that movie. Can we get a Toby? I, I don't know. I mean, he's a fictional character. But he's a dog. I meant, can we get a dog? Can we get a Toby dog? What's this way? How many doors do I have in this place? Twenty-two. Ah, this is a back door. This door is to a room. Twenty-first door. Watson documents our adventures in here. Ah, yes. Uh, a study of cigars and ash, Sherlock Holmes. Yep. Um, Sherlock Holmes. Um, did his did a he wrote something on about how to identify all types of different cigars from ashes. You think you've played this game? Well, you're one up on me. I have never played. I have never even loaded up this game before today. The psychology of the human face. Sailors, masons, and cooks. Sherlock Holmes. Interesting. Tell me my psychology. Look at my face. You are adorable. That, I don't think that's a psychology. But you're pretty. That's also not a psychology. I love you. I don't think you understand the question. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, in the actual stories, uh, Watson is um, the one actually writing the stories. Let's go down there. You're writing the stories. No, I'm not Watson. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Watson Toa. What? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Hey, Quantum Bear. Hi. Thanks for stopping by. Hi. It's going pretty well. I'm checking out a cool new game. What are Hi. you up to? Hi. I said hi. Get a bit more crowded. Um, ooh, where am I going? Evidence. You are Turd Ferguson on the Discord. Hello! Oh man, everyone's stopping by! Hi, Z Umbreon. Yeah. All the people ever! All it's the a people. party! Mm, party. Where was I going? Stream party. Investigate the appearance of Tom's father, George Hurst. Ami, Ami is not a face hugger. What? Um, she is very nice, and when she hugs me, she does not lay eggs in me. Wait, what? What did this person say? What does eggs have to do with anything? <laughs> what has happened? I'm confused, <laughs> like by a lot. <laughs> It's not just like I'm slightly confused. It's, it's like okay. I have you don't all have acid confusion. for blood. I am getting the strangest look huh? right now. <laughs> These streets are too narrow for the cab. I'll have to walk. Hello, horse. 
You're not gonna walk, you're gonna walk. I'm gonna run. Whoa. Xenomorphs. Whoa. Oh, wait, where am I going? The White Chapel. Where does he live again? He lives. I'm a Xenomorph. 12 Dorset Street. This is North Street, so that's not where we want. Door E. I'm <laughs> <Dorset laughs> is also confused. Dorset Street. 12 Dorset Street. Door E. It's 14. 13, which means 12. Nope, that's 15. 42 what? Wallaby Way, Sydney. No, no. Yes. We are not in Australia. We yes. are in England. No. Aliens indeed. No. Dorset Street. I can read signs. Good what job. about the 14? There's I'm glad 14. You have reading abilities. There's 15. 13, 12. How is the street organized? By numbers that are in no particular order. Okay, we want room E. First floor. A. That's the back door. A, B, C. D, E, F, G. Wait, where's E? H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, Embryon. okay. That's the last letter of the alphabet. Z, Embryon. I'm very confused by this. Don't be. It makes sense. Okay, I'm confused about the game. You're confused about the movie Alien. <laughs> okay, I see floor A, B, and C, and then that's it. Maybe it wasn't really on the first floor. Okay, yeah, E is on the second floor. Oh, unless it's, um... <laughs> How is the street organized by numbers? Yes, yes indeed. Um, I'm smart. <laughs> Ah, oh, I get it. This oh, first floor, it, uh, European hey. numbering. Uh, the first floor is actually the one you have. You go up to the first floor, and then the the bottom floor is actually the ground floor. I forgot about that. I need eyes. You need eyes. You have one at the end of your name. A M I. Yes. This is a home, Mr. Holmes. Concentrate your attention on finding details that others are inclined to overlook. I'm inclined to overlook. I have detective vision. Something in the pocket. Old clothes, soiled and worn. How do I Old clothes, access the worn. thing that is in the no, closet? No, I don't. That sounds like it would hurt. Yes, we're, we're, we're not going to kill Ami. Ami is too nice. I don't want to die. The old, the old Tabard Tabard pub, pub, North, North Street. Street. The You're best choice of beers and ales in Whitechapel. Located over there. Eight, nine, or ten? Um, nine. <laughs> That's not going to be original. I try eight or ten. But okay. What, what's wrong with. What? I was picking a size. Blue. I didn't know what size to choose. Probably try. taken from a wall. Yes, Ami does bleed blue. What? You're innocent. People keep saying things about me, and I don't understand. The roof leaks all the time. Father used to fix it. Okay, so back in back in um, Dead Space, we determined that if a person um, bleeds red, they are not innocent. Hi, Turd Ferguson. How did you take? How did you change your name? I didn't know there was a feature that uh, yeah, Twitch had. Yeah, you can do George that Hurst's now. Work was varied. He was evidently really? a hard working and valuable. I should man. change my name to Tower of Pi. George Hurst's that, work was very that wouldn't be changing your name. Evidently a hard working oh. and valuable hand. Ow. What else do we fun. have over here? Oh, you changed accounts. Okay. That that I guess that's the easier way. Mm -hmm. Valley mm -hmm. Co Limited. Oops. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. Oh, oh, did I take those with me? I didn't mean to take them with me. Look at this picture. Saw. She died when I was very young. My father told me what she was like, but that's all I have. I'm sorry, Tom. My mother left me when I was very young, too. I get very confused when... By your face. Yeah, I get very confused by my face, yes. And also by uh, people changing their names. <laughs> as we have discovered on Discord countless times. 
I'm just, I just really com get confused as to who people are. That's because your brain is confused. Oh, the Strand magazine. This is where... <laughs> that's funny. Oh, yes, so that's where the, the stories actually used to be published. And you can see Sherlock Holmes by A. Conan Doyle. The Adventures of the Norwood Builder. I don't know if that's an actual one. If so, it's one I haven't read. Um... Oh, uh, I just, oh, uh, so with the name changing, I just mean in general, um, there's one server that I'm on where people are frequently changing their names, either, I'm not touching blame or anyone, but yeah, another server where I'm on, especially around holidays, people always change their names, and then people are just, in general, changing their names, and I'm constantly trying to figure out who it is. I can remember sometimes if the, if I look at the avatar, but if the name and avatar changes at the same time, I get very confused. <laughs> You're better at it than I am, though. I'm really not. You really are. You, a lot of times I'll be like, who the heck is this? And you're like, oh, that's such and such. Well, only because Can I've asked something. Can you not play with those? I'm sorry. I'm you put something them. new in front of me. I had to play I with understand. it. I understand. They're handling you. trying to what? They're handling you. You were being hailed. What does that mean? Oh, hail on me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just, but you can't touch that. I'm trying to think. I'm sorry, out. you play something. They're all different washer sizes. And okay. I so, anyway, yeah. Strand was what Sherlock Holmes stories were actually published in. Although, I guess this is a little bit universe breaking. Because it says by A. Conan Doyle. And, like, story wise, it's supposed to be by Watson. Huh. So that's You're Watson. I'm just going to say it about that about literally everything. Yeah. Just so you know. Tom probably reads at night. Okay. Questions marked by the exclamation mark can be used further in your investigation. I can use a book further? Okay. So I don't think it's these. I'm not really 100% sure. Huh. So that's why you came to see me. Okay, okay well that seems large. So that can be used it further. Huh. That oh, maybe it, okay, maybe I need to ask about it. Whenever you change your name, I always keep the Z. I'm... I normally try to keep... It's weird. I... So these days, if for some reason my name is changed, I normally try to keep the toe apart. Although, it used to be the opposite. Um, when I was watching uh, the TV show Fringe, there was a podcast... There were people who would record a podcast, and they would do it live, so people would be in chat talking, and actually we would watch the episodes and chat with each other during that. And at some point during the last season... Um, or sorry, second to last season, I'd ended up changing my name from Toa of Pi to Tyrone of Pi because one of the characters was revealed that their middle name was Tyrone. And then from that, every week after that, I changed it to something else of Pi. I always kept the of Pi, but the first part always changed. You're weird. Like, I remember one week, um, like, there was the tagline, like, heed, ser obey, serve, and I, so I was, heed, obey, serve, Pi. Oh, you should serve me, Pa. <laughs> yeah, people made a joke like that. I'm confused. The bandit just said, need something. I'd say yes. Tell the bandit that you do need something and see if he can try to give it to you. Isn't that the opposite of how bandits Tom work? Tom probably reads at night. Tom probably reads at night. Um, no, I think that's about it. Tom probably that's reads at night. Ban it's, maybe it's the world's most helpful bandit. I think these are all the same. Okay, what else do I have? I already did that. Oh, so wait, these might be for 12. No, Life of Ami. What? Not quite. People just keep saying things that <laughs> I don't even understand. You're wonderful. It's already three weeks since George Hurst disappeared. And you're awake this time. For now. Food's running low. Oh. It's already three weeks since George Hurst No, no, please don't do that over here. Okay, well, I was going to say, well, oh, crap. The, don't, don't do that over here, either. Oh, I changed it to the other one. Somebody with apparently no defecating over here. I have to turn the oven on for you. Thank you. Well, I can see the preparations for... I don't have to put all these eyes before you play with them and drop them with apparently I'm no good at doing that. Skills. Okay, let's keep looking around before we do this. Stuff. What's up here? The sky. It's too dark. I can't see anything. It's ah, the nighttime sky. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I get it. I can go grab that candle, maybe. Ooh, 
Um, also, you might want to get that cough looked at. Oh, I can go between first person and third person. Interesting. Totally intentional cough? Then you definitely want to get it looked at. I'm leaving those there. Don't That's not good. Doesn't sound healthy. Father, for all those I want to put this down because then you get mad at me for leaving. He didn't tell ah. me, but I know that he pawned his coat for them. Oh no. Coats are important. So are books. Decisions. I will be right back. Yeah. 400, right? Yep. Uh, now that- Ah, I couldn't take the thing until I knew it was dark. Now that I know it was dark, I can use it. Ooh, magical floating candle. That's probably not how life works. Can't use detective vision up here, though. Ooh, but I do have telepathy. A leather satchel, what's in it? Coat. Coat lives matter? Um, I mean, coat. both coats and books matter. Vsauce Michael, where are your fingers? Uh -huh. I would assume at the end of Vsauce Michael's hands. I don't want that. I don't want you to fall either. No, I'm fine. Letter to George Hurst. Hello there, George. I know. Sorry, I need to put on an accent. Accent. Accident? Nope, accent was what I'm going for. You should on put on foot. a hat. Hello there, George. I know that it's difficult for you to find a job, and you need to feed and clothe your son. I'm becoming more and more Italian as the accent goes on and I'm sorry for that but that doesn't come across in this letter so I've attached to this letter a pub leaflet I've heard that there is a f your accent just keeps changing the entire time it really time. does do I smell fire is it the candle it smells like I don't know I just smelled the candle for like two seconds and you're like, oh. Mm. oh I thought it was like the candle in game it's like why is the game making a scent but no it's an actual candle yeah. immersion which I wish we could light because it smells good yeah, but we have a fire detector, smoke detector, smile alarm, smile with the a thing. smile alarm. I Does think it they... detect when you smile. Yeah. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> so Ding. I've attached to this letter a pub smile. leaflet. I've heard that there is a fellow there who is offering a special job. Maybe it will help you. I hope so. Good luck. Surprised you could smell this candle. You can't smell anything else. And I, I, I got. I can't reach the mouse. There's yarn in the way. Yarn belongs everywhere. Just so you know. I'm moving with <laughs> See, this is not to do that, but I think I'm fine. Encore! The encore! Things. No, I guess we're done. <laughs> no, it, they want an encore, not oh. I guess we're done. Um, God. <laughs> encore comes later. Expl tap. Oh, wait. I guess what am this I doing? Works. Okay. Find out about... Me. Or find out more information about the special job at the oh, pub. Let's talk to you. Wait, is there anything else that I can Let's look around talk to first? Me. Yarn bombing? Um, no. Uh, she makes. Uh, you you can explain what you do. I'll explain what I do. I crochet things, and they're little cute animals. And I needed more yarn, so I put them where Toa's arm is supposed to go to move the mouse, because it was just going there temporarily. Um, what if Sherlock wore a fedora? So, actually, fun fact about this. So, I know the whole, like, deerskin cap with the or with the flaps is known as, like, the typical Sherlock Holmes uh, hat. That's actually, from the way I understand it, or at least as far as I've gotten, it's actually not from the original stories. That is actually from the old black and white films by Razel, or... Basil Rathbone, I think it was? That's where that had original from. Um, there's not too many descriptions about Sherlock Holmes' actual hat that he wears in the story, so I don't think it was a fedora, but we knit, we don't know. The old Tabard pub? Did you hear anything about it from your father, Tom? My father's a regular, but he's not a drinker, sir. It's close by on North Street. I hope you'll find my father soon. Gentlemen, to the pub! Um, old 
Tabard Pub is located on, yeah, North Street. So if we walk that way, it's a little bit past the entrance. That didn't answer my question. Um, I saying that maybe he could have won a fiddle. I don't know. Be, it, it would be an interesting look for him. Hi, Nam. Thanks for stopping by. The entrance. entrance is over here. He does seem like the type who would tip a fedora if he had it. Wait. No, wrong way. This end of the street. <coughs> oh, cutscene. Good day, Mr. Holmes. Well, if it isn't young Wiggins, and I see you found yourself a job. If you can call it that, I hate it. But if, if you've got any proper work for me, I just might be in need of your assistance later. Wait here. Mystery. Indeed. Whispering it, you can just post it in chat if you want. Oh, I'll post it there. Yeah, sure. I don't know. A lot of people have no like gods, no masters. You're dating me. I think I'll what? allow it. I don't <laughs> <laughs> How dare you promote yourself? <laughs> I love you. I need to eat with to find out who is offering this special job. Earwig. I guess I can start whispering people now. What is earwigging? Earwig is a girl's club. Yes, but how do I become an earwig? Um, the child labor law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. What's this sign? I'll just go stand here. Ah, there we go. Hi. Ship. We kissed, but we muted the mic first. Haha. <laughs> um, which one? Left for Dead Two or Star Wars Two? The um, Star Wars, because I'm, I'm assuming that is Lego Star Wars, and Lego games are fun. Scully, why are you? Oh my godding. Because the Lapras is so cute. I still have that one. Yeah, you did. That one is still for sale. So I it. Oh, I'm just sitting here. I thought I'd okay. Actually, I have to interact with the people, or I have to listen in specifically. Did you just try to keep the conversation. Yeah. Oh, this is weird. This specific. Oh wait, no. Okay, yeah, we're going with the mouse. Going with the keyboard control. Oh wait, no. We're we'll going. Go with, go with the mouse. Oh wait, do I have to do both? Oh, this is weird. Oh, these are like, this is interesting. I've never seen an eavesdropping mini game like this. There we go. I'm glad I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself or to Watson. Man, there's a lot of fireflies around here. Eavesdropping mini game. The man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. Look for someone with mutton chop. Me? Say, you have mutton chop whiskers. I guess that's what you call them. Oh, I do. Dump the bosses off your backs. Oh, that's weird. People are talking normally, but the music is ter terribly distorted. Okay, I'm having too much fun just playing around with that. What if I sit here? Then you will be seated. Tommy, I mean, you should make Umbreon ones. Yep. The 
thing is, I'm not the greatest at making up my own patterns, except for that one time I did those monsters. <laughs> those came out good, you have to admit. No, no, no. I admit. That fellow who's offering the special like, jobs, not, he never drinks alcohol. I'm not the greatest at <laughs> I thought it was going to be able to like, play cards so, if I said it. I'm looking Wait, for has whiskers and never drinks what? alcohol. The embryon said, you're hurting my ears, but I don't know if um, it could be me making my guess is me like distorting everything. Oh, I'm bad at it, though. Oh, wait. So there's a beard and whiskers. And water. Aha! We found a person with much. Must be the man that I'm looking for. Yeah, let's get back. Stare at this guy. Hold Q to, to skip time. Why would I want to do that? We are patient, and I am thirsty. You should drink water then. Thanks for the host, Trevor. Oh, you dropped a thing. Okay, okay. Too late. Oh! I dropped it again. What did you do? <laughs> I dropped the thing that you dropped. What did it's I it's drop? right there. Uh, an eye. You dropped a, an eye back. Do you want me to get it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can fall out. I don't know where. Fall out? No, it's a different game. Don't. I'm making something fall out of the actual thing. I can't pick it up. You can do this! Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should skip time. This is, this is going to be thrilling, yeah, really. Oh, wait, maybe that. No. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll fast forward a little bit. Well, now I'm thirsty. You mentioned the first thing. Oh, I wonder how long that would have been. 30 minutes later! Oh, God, I'm glad I didn't do this in real time. I think you would have had no viewers left. <laughs> Probably. Unless here, here is a mystery stream of me staring at a table. <laughs> What are you telling me? I don't know. Tell him. Okay. The embryon I found. Thing. <laughs> I'll break that. He's yeah. speaking into your computer. Mike's over here. Okay, you know what? I'm trying to find other ones on Etsy. Okay. At the start of October, Mr. John Stowbridge went missing from Dorset Street under mysterious circumstances. Any information, please contact Mrs. Stowbridge at 5 Dorset Street. I can advance for any information or help. Now, George Hurst is at 12 Dorset Street, so now let's go check out 5 Dorset Street. Thank you for the help, people. Cutscene? No, we're following him. Maybe not. Uh huh. See that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. Go, little boy, go! All right, Mr. Holmes. Meanwhile... Oh! Oh! I'm playing as the kid now! I wasn't expecting that. What happens if I talk to him now? Don't lose him. Okay. Wait, where is he? I lost him already! <laughs> Crap, I'm so bad at this. Okay, nope. I already lost him. Oh god. Where'd he go? Um. Oh, there he is. No, 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 no. I'm gonna hide behind this box. Ah! I can peek while I'm covered. Suspect lost? No! I didn't lose the suspect. Pick up? There's no one following you. 
I'll look at chat. Up, oh, no, no. Um. Oh wait, no. Okay. Let's go on that one. Um. I'll look at chat in a bit. But right now, oh, it says the word cover there. No, no. Um. Look at chat in a bit. I'm focusing on game right now. There it is. I wish I wasn't at three bars already, but I didn't understand how to hide. Game did not tutorialize that very well. They won't let me pass. I'll need to find another way. I'll take Eevee over all its evolutions any day. Oh, I am staying out of this argument. Suspect lost. No. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Sonics. I have a pattern for Eevee. Costs are too much these days. Spioink? What the heck is that? I've never heard of that one. What generation is Spioink? Is that like a pig insect? I don't know. I don't know much about Pokemon after Gen. And I know. Yeah, mostly. Mostly, I know one. I know nothing after two. Gen one was my thing. Ah, boys from the Bruises gang. Better keep out of their way. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Stupid kid. Is there another way I can go? Ah, okay. Go through the house. I'll be able to continue the chase if I climb up the chimney, but it's dangerous. What are you waiting for? Okay. Please, go on then. Going up a chimney. Gem three was my starting. Inf oh, there's an oxygen meter. Okay. <laughs> oh, the chimney cle cleaning mini game. <laughs> you know, Gen one first because of the anime. Yeah, the anime was. I, I remember watching that back when it was on the air. Sure. <coughs> Come on, turn the chimney faster. Come on, I'm almost dead. There we go. Oh man, gameplay things that I didn't expect in this game. Enjoying this game so far. Suspect lost. No. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Um. Uh oh. No. Suspect not lost. We're taking a different path. Oh god. Um. No. Keep the concentration controls balanced across the path. Oh god. Oh dear. Okay. No, this I do not remember anything like this in Assassin's Creed. Whoa. 
Oh, okay. Careful. Yeah, normally in games it's just like, oh, walk across. That just involves going slowly. No, we have an actual mini game. Goofy. Is there a goofy pattern or is what I'm doing goofy? Come on, turn left, please. Oh no, don't go right. I can't follow you if you go right. Uh oh. Uh, going back. Suspect lost. No! No! How do I. Okay, um. Oh god. Nope. No, suspect lost. Where is he? Where is he? No, he's not lost. Um. Uh, I've lost the no! Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, okay, he's letting me continue with this. Okay. Good, it doesn't set me too bad. Goofy pattern, okay. Um, maybe the pattern itself was goofy rather than goofy the Disney character? I don't know. Okay, don't look up here. I'm not here. La la la. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. No, you didn't see me up here. Just like lost. Um, nowhere. I've always been here. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? Maybe it's the Disney goofy pattern. Unless you're talking about the one that's on my website thing. I made one of those ones. That was a pain. That one was like the biggest pain to me. I'm I'm like leaning. To, I'm le I'm doing that thing where I play where I'm leaning to the right to try to get the character to look right. That's not a. That's not how games work. It's like when you're bowling, you try and lean to make the ball look right. Your thing just even. Um. Okay. Uh, nothing. Nothing. No, sir. I ain't dropping no eaves. <laughs> I have an Eevee pattern. But right now I'm making chipmunk. No, okay. This way. Chipmunk, 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 chipmunk. Oh no. That's hard to say. Come on, come on, come on. Where is he? There he is. Toa, say chipmunk three times in a row. Chipmunk, chipmunk, chipmunk. That. Um, I don't know. I can't do that. I know that guy. He's shoe shine Jim from Chamber Street. He's mute because his drunk stepfather beat him. That is true, we are. Hmm. Listen, we are. Hey, Jim. I you understand let me that, but you we're saying games can't do that yet, mm -hmm. but we're saying we are. We're saying that is real. And it's a thing. Listen. Shoe shining mini game. That's <laughs> a weird mini game. Um. Are you having fun? I am having fun. That is good. Uh, I am glad. Why would I want to skip this? No. Um. I want to go put the thing in the oven. Um. Well, sorry. Um. Good job. Um. No. This could be useful with a small brush. Um, I only have this big brush. Okay, now that I've shown that person's shoes, um, now I'm gonna go put my food in the oven. I'm right gonna back. see what mistake that I made. Uh, you maybe. can entertain them. Oh, okay. I'm also gonna see what mistake that um, I made. Also, please answer the question: What would you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Oh, what? around 
a drunken sailor early in the morn. Oh, my phone's gonna go off in two seconds. Ding, 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 ding. I messed up somewhere and I don't know what I did. Probably wasn't paying attention. is gonna go off. They're saying you did a bad job. Oh, I did a bad job with the cheat training? Yeah. Oh. Um, in my defense, I don't know how to shine shoes. Well, you need to learn, obviously. <laughs> I need to learn how to shine shoes. Um. <laughs> I badly shined one of his shoes. <laughs> okay, um. You are the worst shoe shiner. Yeah, I'm. I really am. You need to work on your shoe shine. I, I really do. But on the bright shoes. side, that ooh, my head was warmer with the hood. Um, the, on the bright side, the pink baby dragons are adorable. I, I read that and I said thanks. Okay. <laughs> um, now that I've failed at this. There was a pink one and then there was the orange and uh, no. Uh, what's with me in colors? I called brown blue. Now I'm calling green. What do I call it? This is not right. There's the green and blue one too. How does how does one know how to shine shoes? I'm not sure how to figure that out. YouTube, YouTube tells all. We need to get closer. What did I do? The small perk of being a metalhead. You know how to shine shoes? Okay. Metalhead, like yeah. from Jack and Daxter? I was assuming, like. Remember in Metal. Jack and Like, remember in Jack and Daxter? Those, that's what the enemies are called. Metalhead. Remember? Hmm. Damn. Hello? I need to find um, I don't remember. I remember. I think I remember Metalheads in Brutal no, Legend. So was good. No, so it was but no, these were metal. They were called Metalheads. They were creatures that had a little, like, yellow bulb thing on their head. There's a Sherlock dog. That, are, are you really far behind on the video, Trevor? I can't lose him now. Tap quarter. Tap this to sprint. I can't just hold down the shift button. Oh, I've lost him. Wait, how did I lose him? I was right there. Cause you're the worst. Those heavy booty, duty boots need shining constantly. Okay. I will keep that in mind. You must play the shoe shine mini game for the rest of the stream. I can't lose him now. Whee! Slow motion jump. Oh man, how is he not gonna hear that? Achievement on the trail. Trail. Totally needs stuffing, but I don't want to get. Yeah, the the. Sh I'm gonna made a Sherlock. Oh, that Sherlock dog! I thought you meant Toby in Sherlock oh, Study. Oh, that one! I remember now. It was had the green shirt with the little yeah, hat. Yeah, not, not, now I know what you're talking about. Okay. I think I sold that one. Yeah. I don't have that one anymore. Yeah. I'll be right back. I need a. I forgot. All, I've made so many things. <laughs> See, this tells you how many things I've made because I cannot remember them all. You've made a lot. I have made a lot. Interesting. What's going on in the yard? I'll I don't know. Right back. I need stuffing. Mm -hmm. Stuffing. Stuffing. Ow. I'm falling. I'm sorry, I'm falling. For you. Cause you're free, free falling. Oh, I said I was falling for you. For me. Free falling for you? Yep. What? I'm gonna put this on this one. Oi. Should I drop some eaves? There were only two I people fell, living. I, I wish one was me. <laughs> there were only two people living. Charlie the puppy. I can make an Umbreon. I'm Charlie getting you business. <laughs> Which one was that? Wait, now I gotta look at my own one. Is that the one you made for my sister? Oh, it could be. Sneak into this house. What else is going on besides Me? the... What? Oh. Make 
take an Eevee. Oh man, people are just buying everything. You're gonna be rich. I can't see what's inside. Well, that's because you're crouching. What? The character's like, I can't see what's inside. Yeah, like, yeah that's because you're crouching. I'm trying to look. Because they mentioned Charlie the Puppy, and I don't know which one that was. Oh, the Sherlock oh, doll was Bob's. from... It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Sherlock dog was from dorm days. Mm, I remember being in a dorm. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. A lot of expensive stuff. You already have four Umbreon plushies, but can never have too many. The Charlie dog was the one I made for your sister. I have a sister. Good job. Thanks. Just don't sell her in a second. Oh. I guess. I mean, I'm, I mean I'm, I'll admit I'm not into slavery, but... I still want to make a Skyrim mod of uh, Bellathor's sister. And it'll be in the inventory, and you can buy it, and it'll be a companion. But you have to buy it quick. If you don't buy it within a second, it's, it sells out. I have an Eevee pattern already. I have to buy that umbrella. Can I sneak in the, the house? It's too dangerous to enter. Oh, really? Alright. So, am I done then? Okay, I already looked in there. What's in there. What else is there for me to do? Am I supposed to report back? Oh, is there more to see here? Bags of food. Oh, okay. I like this ass. Time to report to Mr. Holmes. Yep. Let's get oh. outside before I get caught. All I needed to look back was the food. Okay. Yeah, Pikachu and Charmander plushies. I have need an Eevee. Oh, no one needs a, no one needs another giant Pikachu. I made a giant Pikachu. Did you guys see that on the website? The Pikachu was huge. Eevee Torchicken. Litten? I don't know. I don't know what a Litten is. Litten is one of the starters in one of the newer games. Ah, that's right. Torchic, I recognized. This is the Eevee pattern that I. By have. any chance, is Litten a fire kitten? Yes. Or a kitten that is totally lit, using today's l language. Litten is a fire kitten. Aha. Uh -huh. So smart. You can tell by the name. Wigan's tail was quite unusual. I have that. What do you make that, of what he found? Look, kittens. Right? Examine the item brought by Wigan. See, when somebody asked me to make a Pikachu pattern, Pikachu for them, I found the pattern that... I ultimately used, but I thought it was going to be way smaller, so I was going to charge him like twenty-five dollars, but it ended up being ginormous, <laughs> and I ended up charging him like eighty bucks for it because job. it was huge, and it was like fifteen dollars just to ship the thing. <laughs> but it would have been fit if I used a box that fit that thing. It would have been like fifty bucks just to ship it. <laughs> what you so you used a box that didn't fit it? No, I used a a leaf bag, a big garbage bag. I have every evolution except Glaceon because I was collecting the Toys R Us line and Glaceon came out the day Toys R Us shut down. Rude. Ouch. I can't get it in like a secondary market kind of thing? Wait, do I have a pattern for Glaceon? I know the I coat have... of arms. I don't have Let's a pattern check for history. Umbreon, but I have. I think That's not I the one I need. Napoleon. That's not the one I need. Roman history? That's not the one nope. I need. That's not... That's not the one I need. Okay, apparently it's not in history. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. Art and art architecture. That's not the one I need. That's not what is that? That's not. Oh, wait. That's not. No, that's the that's not the one I need. Yeah. None of these. Yeah. Um, economics nonsense. That's not the one I need. That's not the one. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I need. That's not the one. Man, apparently I'm bad at this. Did not want to speak good. That's not the one I need. The typewriter is the future. That's not the one I need. That's not the one. That's not the not the one I need. That's not the one. Jeez, it's none of these. Mm. Not the one I need. Medicine. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I need. That's not the one I need. That's not the one. That's not the one I. That's not the one I need. That's 
Am I looking in the wrong place? I really am. Okay. I don't know what th these. Wait, am I looking on the wrong bookcase? Oh, there's an entirely different bookcase I could have looked at. Okay, never mind. How do I know what I need? I'm glad <laughs> That's not the one I need. I am so sorry, everybody. The picture of Dorian Gray. Why is that in the newspaper? Oh my god. I'm glad you appreciate the Derpy Cat because Toa hated that one. I didn't like that one. I know you didn't. You hated that one. And I love that one. It was so cute. That's not the one I need. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, the blue, no, the blue cat has to be different than that because the, the Derpy Cat was like pink. It will show me the way. <sighs> I have no words. <laughs> Sorry, Nam. That's not the one I need. It's not the one I need. Studying Scarlet. That's the that's first uh, Sherlock Holmes story. God, I am the worst detective. That's not the one I flying need. lobsters? What? That's not the one I need. You're a flying That's lobster. That's not. Bring in the dancing lobsters. Is there more than new research? Wait, I got the stuffing and then never stuff. Okay, I've been looking in the wrong place. Maybe. That's because you're terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. English coat of. I should retire and give up this life of crime fighting. Okay. <laughs> That's not the I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night screaming, That's not the one I need! And then I will shove you over and be like, go back to sleep. <laughs> I am so sorry, everyone. What? I said, if you did that, I would shove you over and yell at you to go back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the he one I need. Up the other night okay, having okay. a panic attack over the fact that I was ripping out instructions, the pages to his Lego instruction manuals. And you woke up hyperventilating, freaking out. And I know you said that you were more upset okay, about I'll, the Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll explain the story better. Okay, so in this, in this dream. Wow. I'm sorry. I remember the details because I was the one who had it. Don't stick your tongue at me like that. Okay, so, um, th yeah, that's not the one I need. Um... <laughs> 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 okay, so, um, I had a dream that we were building, uh, the Lego Hogwarts Express, the, like, recent one that came out, uh, a couple months back, and for some reason, Ami had, uh, like, cut it up or ripped it up so that all of the instruction book, it was all individual pages, and you were shuffling them around, and to, so it was a random order, and I got really upset at you about this, and then you got really upset at me about this, and we were all upset at each other, and I feel bad about that. Um, you feel bad about a dream that happened. And it no, wasn't I feel, real. No, I felt bad in the dream. Uh -huh. Boris the wolf. It's a wolf named Boris. That I'm not sure what. what the, I'm, I'm not sure what the difference I, is between I made, the two. I made that for AJ. Boris the wolf. I'm sorry. It's in front of me. I'm playing with it. Boris the wolf. I made for AJ. Okay. Okay. Now you can continue what you were saying. So. You, you, you woke up a million times that night, and I yelled at you for having a panic attack over me ripping up Lego instructions, because I thought that was the silliest thing ever to have a panic attack, and it was the middle of the night, and I was grumpy. <laughs> you dream of building Lego sets. Nerd! Oh, I wear that like a badge of honor. <laughs> and then, and then you woke up again, but you were in pain. And I felt bad. I was like, what now, basically? And then I felt bad because you were in pain. Yeah, and then I, I offered to get you an Advil. I woke up, like, panicking again. And she was like, oh, what now? And I said, I have this huge cramp 
in my leg and I was like in incredible pain and she just did the quickest 180 and was like oh okay <laughs> I'll help you what do you need me to do <laughs> oh just because the previous time you woke up and woke me up for the stupidest <laughs> reason I'm like, I don't wanna okay up. back to the game anyway. so the coat of arms of the Marsh family it's the one I need um, I still have that one the red panda <laughs> hope it isn't on my resume um I'm not sure what's supposed to be on my resume the the panic attack of the dumb things or the pain in my leg or it's the one I need or I'm not sure <laughs> what you're going for what that's referring to at this point dreams of building Lego sets oh no I make that a reality he builds with Lego literally every day yes uh, I have built with Lego I still do that tonight but every day since the beginning of August last year and this is only because when he got one new set, he built it, like, super-duper quickly. And I'm like, those things are expensive. You should spread them out more. What does he do? Calculates how many steps he should do in a day to spread it out over a certain period of time. So I'll do it, take it a bit to the extreme. A bit? You took how many months? Eight? Yeah. Nine uh, months? So eight months? Yeah, eight months to do uh, set 75192, the new UCS Millennium Falcon. Which you insisted upon buying the first day, and you went <laughs> and left the Lego store really early in the morning. Yeah, it's it's good that I bought it the first day, because it sold out really quickly. They only had ten copies of that $800 Lego set. Um, yeah, I got there, and I waited in line for three hours before the store opened. And I was the third person to get one. And that set was amazing. And it took me 34 weeks to build. <laughs> only because you took what I said... To the extreme. Yeah, uh, around 20 hours spread over 34 weeks. Anyway, <laughs> the coat of arms of the Marsh family. Nowadays, the representative of this family is Lord Edward Marsh, the well-known benefactor. He provides the poor people of Whitechapel with provisions, warm clothes, etc. Oh, how nice of him. Lord Marsh is also a renowned co-founder of the special education program, which allows poor people the opportunity of an education. Lord Marsh resides at 3 Mainsbury Road, London. Eight, yes, $800 for a 7,511-piece set. I think the box weighed around 40 pounds. <laughs> it was really interesting to look up the stairs. Have a good night, Speedwave. Um, she does buy Lego sets with me so sometimes. Thanks for stopping by, Speedwave. She oh. bought me the, the Lego Ninjago City for my birthday, and I'm still working on it. Yeah. That set's really cool. Lego is my one expensive hobby. We are super nerds, but we're proud of it. Yep. Um, she didn't go to the to the early morning one. She mostly goes. No, I like I prefer sleep over eight hundred dollar yeah, Lego sets. Yeah, you, you I can't believe you didn't want to get up early enough so that you could leave the apartment at six o'clock in the morning to go sit on a floor for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that thing was annoying to get down an escalator. That's because the box weighed 30 pounds. Okay, continue, yeah. Uh, I'll play for another 43 minutes or so, then I'm going to go eat and also watch Speedway stream. Yay! What day of the week is today? It's Wednesday. I almost said Thursday. Oops. Here it is. No, tomorrow's Thursday, because I have rehearsal. This man could be Lord Marsh. Huh. A lord who hangs around in a public house. Let's pay a visit to Lord Marsh. We'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities. Hmm. Um, I did hear about that. I like that happy cheeseburger that I Mr. made. That was fun. You have a and we said we just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that Sorry. won't be possible. No, this young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Father. Caitlin. <laughs> wait, what? Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? <laughs> you will tell me, won't you, Father? Ooh, it's the tiny head. The color reminds me of the character from Little Big Planet. Okay, I'm very taken aback by this, because at least in the stories that I've read, Sherlock Holmes did not have a daughter. Did have a daughter? I don't know if this is something from an earlier game or something, but I don't know. But you'll make Watson jealous. All right, then. Have fun. I'll go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson? 
What can I say for that? Oh yeah, the Happy Cheeseburger was cool because somebody, one of a streamer that I used to watch, um, bought it from me, and it became the the stream mascot for a while. We named it Buns. Remember that? I remember Buns. It's wonderful to have Kate home. Oh, Sherlock Holmes had a daughter. Does Does anyone know anything about this? The, the whole Sherlock Holmes daughter thing? It's made a chipmunk head. It's tiny. Oh, there's a room over here that I didn't know existed. See? <gasps> Makeup table. What? See? Yeah. It's tiny. I'm a bite derpy cat. You should make another and have it watch Toa while he sleeps. Um, I don't, I need to, I don't know how to react to that. We already have Pikachu watching over us in the bedroom. Hair and hat, I can change, ooh, interesting. Can change how he works, or how he, yeah, how he works, how he looks. What hair do I like best? Ooh, no, we don't want him bald. Let's also bald. Ooh, got a nice hat. Uh, of course, that one. We did have a request for a fedora earlier, and fedora. that's not quite a fedora, fedora. But this is the closest thing to a fedora I can find. Glasses, facial hair. Oh my god! Is the yarn needle over here, or did you play with it and now it's gone for life? Ladies and gentlemen, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, ad ah, adopted child from previous game. Okay. Um, how many? Ga um, just out of curiosity, do you know how many games there are in this series? I know there's Crime and Punishment. No, there was another. Okay, for now, we're Abraham Lincoln. Because this amuses me to no end. You just like being Abe Lincoln. You want Abe Lincoln and Fallout also. Yeah. Festive. What's that festive? Doctor outfit. Bandit outfit. Master of sports wear a casual suit. Over. Yeah, I don't like that one. Sailor outfit. Morning gown. Cameron punishment was the one you played. Okay. How was that game? Perfect. No one will suspect me now. Is it just these two games or are there more? Grand Prospect? Okay, yeah. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this, so I might check out the earlier game at some point. Can you speak to it? Go speak to it. Okay, that was slightly creepy. No, you're slightly creepy. Oh, I, can't, I can't run down the stairs. Why do I need every color ever? What can I do for you, Mr. Holmes? Mm, apparently nothing. Okay, let's check this. Let's go over to Marsh's house. You put the food in before, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll be done in like 37 minutes billion or Billion so. years. 37 billion years? Oh god, it would burst into flames at this point. Uh, this is Sherlock Holmes, the Devil's Daughter. You need a hook. I'm um, should play Kingdom Hearts in the background again. No, she is crocheting right now. I'm making a chipmunk. She goes back and forth uh, deciding to binge on video games and crocheting or other things. I make stitch clay stitch markers sometimes, too. Right now she is in the crocheting phase. I was making hedgehogs. This is convenient for me because I got the TV. Let's continue. Oh, I thought it was loading. No, it's not. About Kate. Yes? She has grown. You hear all you would hear is Don't you think it's time to, to tell her? <laughs> to tell her what, Watson? Well, I look ridiculous. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Hmm. Holmes, 
You were responsible for the death of her father. Oh, you okay. Her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Eight but games. That she must wow. Know. Oh. Watson, is that clear? Oh, a lot she of them. Okay. And can't happen. I'll have to check this out. Um, what's the first? Uh, now I'll look up what the first one is. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I'm liking it so far. I have no clue what the other six are. Come in, please. I think this, yeah, I think this is one of the ones that were in uh, Humble Bundle. Good Thanks day. for stopping by, Z Embryon. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My yep. name is Sherlock um, Holmes. Z Embryon. Bye, Z Embryon. Deduction time. Let's see how good I am at this. Red eyes. Maybe lack of sleep. I don't know. What else do we have here? Gold ring. Man of wealth. Blanket. I like pills. blankets. I stole all the blankets last night. Right? Let's not talk about that. I'm still bitter. <laughs> Pills, strong painkiller. Lloyd Marsh's state of health. His temperature was higher than usual. He was experiencing a tightness in the chest and shortness of breath. During the day, I recommend increasing his daily dose of painkillers. Appointments, 1600 meeting. Lord Marsh and Lord Collins remind Lord Marsh of his meeting and order a cab. Notebook. No, it's not a cooking recipe. Personal assistant. Embroidered motif. Member of the hunting club. Stethoscope. Physician. Okay. Um, he feels unwell. A little Character unwell? portrait complete! A I little, got it right this time. A little unwell? Oh, he looks more than a little bit unwell. I know. <laughs> Reuben Fisher is a young man of 25 and already a confident physician. I'm he is that age. He is well-educated, mannered, and a member of the hunting club. A hunting club, sorry. Okay, um, let's see. Holmes versus Arsène Lupin. Seeing one of the books that wasn't the one you needed is called Early R Relais. I'm gonna rely. I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation of that. H.P. Lovecraft. Looks like the authors don't have any problems with using other authors than Toil. That's interesting. Like it's expanding the mythos a bit, almost. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you for that information. I'm trying to make a nose. Okay. Reuben Fisher is not only a physician. He is no. He is also Lord Marsh's personal assistant. Lord Marsh is a wealthy man who holds a high position in society, indicating that his expensive... <laughs> That's not the one I need. No! No, Trevor! No! <laughs> uh, Pen is a character in books by Maurice LeBlanc. Oh, interesting. I think I've heard that. I've, I've heard, I think I've heard that author before, but I don't think I've read anything by them. Gentleman Thief. Hmm. Intriguing. This is reminding me that I need to finish reading the Sherlock Holmes stories or listening to them since um, through Audible I was able to get a thing of the complete sh works of Sherlock Holmes. Which is like, what the? I forgot how many hours it is, but it's like, I think it's over 50 hours and just for one credit. That was, that was a good purchase. Lord Marsh is a wealthy man who holds a high position in society, indicated by his expensive clothes and valuable gold ring. He has dedicated his life to helping the poor. He is ill, therefore he is covered with a blanket, despite the fact that it's quite warm inside the room. <laughs> um, I can't remember who it's read by. I know if you look on Audible, I think there's two versions of the complete Sherlock Holmes. I got the one that is not. It was sorry, it wasn't Stephen Fry because apparently, 
Um, that version in the U.S. release, due to copyright reasons, is actually missing one of the books. So it's not as complete for some reason. So that that's the only reason I went with the other one, just because I wanted to get actually all the stories. Open the box of powerful pain covers. Okay. Am I interrupting? Yes. I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. I probably won't stay in this Lord Marsh, for long can I just say that I admire Sorry, all um... of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now, too, from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing, and books for the unfortunate. That is inspirational. Um, at my own humble level, I too try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance? I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. Okay. I recognize your face. Marsh's does... Hey, yeah, let's go there. Forgive me, Lord Marsh. You're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you, but I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. Mm -hmm. How long have you been like this, my lord? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. Don't fuss. It's only influenza. I'll be better in a few days. I can feel it already. Painkiller for an influenza? <laughs> it won't get out of your head. That's not the one you need. Sorry, I clicked it too many times. It is there forever. In that case, why are you taking such powerful painkillers? Excuse me, what do you mean? Mr. Holmes is referring to the pills on your table. I'm sorry, but that's a medical confidentiality. It's right there. <laughs> it's not confidential, I can see it right there. It's curious. Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done, you are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in a special job. Oh. A special job? That's not May the one I, I need. No. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Certainly. Since uh, that's Marsh began me, his it? special education program right. in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. Interesting. That's remarkable. Yes, indeed. In order to truly see, one requires vision, yes? But also insight. And Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. Diagnosed with influenza, however, superior. Yeah, his illness appears to be something more serious. Ooh. What? Possessed by a ghost? What was that? Like, what was that? <laughs> Ooh. Do you like the nose? Yeah, that turned out well. Show the chat. Just hold, hold the head up to the microphone. Okay, I'll do it. You need to make a Discord. Hey, that's not how microphones work. They yes, are not is. also cameras. Did did it, did the nose sound okay? <laughs> I'm intrigued by the special education program. Is there something else that interests you? Nope, sorry, you're not the one I need. Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. Distribution for papers. Whitechapel. A provision dealing with the paupers of Whitechapel. Okay. Last year, three orphans were put in Medical College. Some papers. Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education program, a 
great many poor people will have a second chance in life. Some papers, duck, document seal. What was that? Document mm. seal. Let's take a look at that. To the Lord Marsh, here's the list of selected participants for the special Octo education program in October. Looks to be a very promising event. I'm what looking forward to it. What? Well, obviously this isn't recent. Patrick Tanner, Thomas Kelly, John Strobridge, William Thatcher, and Reginald Staple. That name sounds familiar. John Strobridge. I've seen oh yeah, that's why I've seen that name before. It was on a missing persons poster. Hmm. Interesting. Last year. Um, our quartermaster club to celebrate our horseback riding, exploration, and hunting. Lord Marsh hunting with his friends. Must have been uh, healthier days. My dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. That's not the one that I need. Do 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 do. I can't work it out. I keep looking over Any ideas to the number of people who might owe you <laughs> their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. <laughs> Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly yeah. large family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, the, the list would be longer than any of your short stories. Oh, As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I quite understand. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Is there anything else I can look at while I'm still here? Oh, wait. Oh, I thought I just saw a symbol. Was it symbol? It's in there somewhere. Yes, Special edu or dialogue. It could be that George Hurst mentioned something about this to his son. Um, I wish I could. List of participants. I wish the chat could be over here. Oh, you have to, why do you want the chat over there? So I could read it. Oh. Um, remind me about that next time. Is there something else that interests you? There is. Lord Marsh believes that he can help. Lord Marsh even helps hospitals. Mm, must be some, I feel like there's something else here. I thought I saw some. I'm something? intrigued yeah, by the right. special education program. It appears that Lord Marsh spent a great deal of his money on aiding. Why did Chat die? I don't know. Happen sometimes. It might not be the one that I need. It got quiet. <laughs> it's this dead space now. Um, dead space. What I'm doing on Friday? Hey, the paupers of Lambeth Workhouse. Bags full of food. Mm -hmm. Let's keep wandering around this guy's house. That's legal, right? Hmm. Why would someone lock things in their own house? Would someone lock things in their house? Oh, I can't go up the stairs. There's cabbage in the way. How dare you, cabbage? It's shut tight. Is there anything else to do here? Eat cabbage so you can get up and go past wherever you are. Hmm. I guess not. Despite my title, yes. Hmm. I have to share my home with these bags full of food for the poor. Mm, it doesn't Maybe seem to be the one that I need. I've never it? seen so many provisions for the poor. And certainly not in a lord's house. Is, is there something else that interests you? Lord Marsh, but... Alright, I guess that's... that up for now? Humanitarian aid for an orphanage. It's extremely honorable to devote one's whole life to assisting the poor. Mm -hmm. 
guess that's it's it. Not. Hmm. Um, got an obstacle, try eating it. That was my teacher. Deduction space appears every time a newfound clue to be com combined. Um, I don't have, seem to have a hunger meter in this game, so I'm not sure if I can. Find gameplay or interface instructions by pressing F1. Can I talk to you? Yes, talk to me. Mr. Holmes? Oh, there we go. Do you have any news about my Hello. father? Tom. Tom, not so fast. Hmm? I wanted to ask you if you were ah, okay. your father mentioning anything about a special education program. Cool. An education program? No, he only talked about a special job. Bum, bum, bum. What's this box, Tom? Oh yeah, I just found it, Mr. Hmm. Holmes. It was ever so well hidden. I've no idea why. Well done, my boy. It could prove very helpful. Stop playing with my things. Can't help it. Examine the box found by Tom. This oil can also be used on weapons. Sewing machine oil. Yeah. This oh is yeah that can oh. a ramrod to clean a rifle. Yeah, that's what I thought. Key. Ah, I guess I'm taking that. Je suis pre Wolfjack. Wolfjack. Looks like a military badge. Take Tom, it. does your father own a rifle? A rifle? No. If he had, he would have shown it me. I'm sure that he wouldn't have shown it you. I need to find this rifle. When it almost fails, press B to blow. Why are we going to ask? Wait a second. Wait a second. Blow Wait a cabbage. Second. Hold on. Why are we Whoa. Ask? Oh. I said hold on. I he said, actually does something. Why would he ask the kid if he had a rifle? And then say, well, if your father did have a rifle, he surely wouldn't have told you about it. Well, why ask the kid in the first place? Mm -hmm. hmm. right. I don't think I can combine clues yet, though. But this is interesting. More interesting. I haven't made any deductions yet. Interesting. Now, if I was a rifle, where would I hide? In a safe. In a bucket! Level thinking, Tom, by does Detective your have any other properties? Of course. No. Well, at least I don't think so. I have to take Toby. He'll take a sniff of the oil, and we'll find that rifle. Dog time. Dog. Hm. I'm a dog. Secretly. What? A talking dog. Oh. In the shape of a human. Touch Toby. It's dog time. Now I open the casebook to check progress. Hmm? Well, that's very well. Show the mic. I can show the mic. If you want me to, I can take a picture, put it on Imager, and then post it there. If you want. Okay, I will do that. Well, actually, let me not do that yet, because there's three more lines that go up here. Hmm. Let me do that first. Uh -oh. And then I will show we you need to help a picture of the I'm going to. Kate wouldn't like it if I entered her room without her knowledge. Yes, but I'm trying to knock. Where's the dog? Come here, Toby. Wolf. Come on, Toby. It's time for you to earn your keep. Bum, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Wolf. Dog? Wolf. 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 Watson, Wolf. I prefer to visit Lord March. I'm worried about the condition of his health. Hmm, okay. Guess we're splitting up, for I have a dog. I'm guessing after this dog section, it might be time to stop. We've got to wait till I'm done with the lines. Hold on, I'm, I'm just going to quickly go check to see how much time is left. Okay. What would you do with a drunken? Stay there? No. 
I'm almost done with the, the details on the chipmunk head. It looks pretty cool. You're cool. Thank you. Okay, now we're just done. Now I just need to hide the. Toby head. is a basset so hound. And then I can take pictures. Here, Toby, smell this liquid. That's really cool. What, the dog? Such, no, such. I'm a dog! Man, there's a lot of variety in this game that I, that I expected. <coughs> I like the music now. Wait, how did I open a door as a dog? You're a very smart dog. Oh, I love this music for this part. Can I buy the soundtrack to this game? I'm liking it. <laughs> Open the door, Toby! That is so cute! Is that a bassoon? The low part. Look. Cool. Oh man, the path splits off into two different directions. Oh, man. The path is going all over the place. Hmm. That seems to be a dead end. There's a branch over here. This way. Toby the telekinetic dog, indeed. Did I say Basset Hound? I meant Magical Basset Hound! So this is why Holmes... Oh wait, why am I morphing already? Oh. oh! Double barking. Apparently I can't open this, do this door, it's too far away from my telekinetic powers. Achievement unlocked, Hermit's Lair. Oh, Hol I forgot, Holmes is also telekinetic. <laughs> like owner, like dog. Send the picture. I believe I got to be a dog. That's cool. Nothing that could interest me. You never know. Mm -hmm. Pile of rubbish. Oh, one man's trash is another is also another man's trash. Everyone's trash. Ooh, I can look through a keyhole. That's cool. Just some old things. That's the chipmunk head. It's cute. I think so anyway. Um, I can't click the link. You can't? It's not no, because I'm playing the game. Well, oh, I'm thinking like the link doesn't work. You're thinking what? The link doesn't work. Link to the past. It's so cute. Old things. It's a light bulb. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Here you go. Ordinary storage. Ordinary storage. This is the one I need. Ooh. Tom's photograph. That's interesting. Let's try to get inside. Do we get a lock picking game? Plot twist, Holmes is a magical basset hound. That would be quite the plot twist. Use the correct ordered lockpicks to lift the wooden plates and create an unobstructed path for... Uh, um. oh, let's see, what do we want first? Do you like the chipmunk head? I'm not quite sure how that mini game worked, but huzzah! There's so many mini games here. Let's look. 
News clippings on lords in the education program. Why are they here? Lloyd Marsh, in association with his friends Lloyd Harrington and Lloyd Collins, is the co-founder of the special education program. My phone isn't loading links. Oh no. That's rude of your phone. Um, make an ASCII picture and type it out in chat. It's worth a try. Um, in assisting the poor to build better lives and more certain f futures, these three gentlemen surely help lift the level of our struggling society. Let's compare this list with the evidence that we found earlier. Hmm. This is the list of selected participants for Production October's time. special education Perhaps. program. According to this poster, John Strowbridge is missing. Yeah, we know that. Let's compare them with people from her documents. Okay. Mm. None of these people. No. That one. This man appears in both documents. Same with this one. Is next to them. Oops, so there's a lot of time. Oh. oh man, everyone. Hmm. All the people in Marsh's document are marked and dated in George Hurst's files. Interesting. Group S. Everyone in group S. Whatever that means. Dear Tom, if you're reading this letter, then it means that I'm dead. Well, that's a bit of a jump, but that's not good. Oh, wait. I need an accent. Oh, or I need to change. You need 50 accents according to the way you read accents. Dear Tom, if you're reading this letter, then it means that I'm dead. I'm so sorry that things had to end up this way, but I had no other choice. You have to know that. You are a very smart boy, and I'm so proud of you. I hope one day you'll understand and you'll forgive me. Son, I love you so much. Don't despair. Try to be happy, for you'll grow up to be a man someday, and sooner than you think. You won't be alone. Me and your ma'am will be looking over you from heaven. Your loving father. Ooh, I can deduce now. Okay, so we have... Me? Cover letter. First special job in a list of... Uh, and the special education program. Yeah, Some of the facts... Um, no. Last I checked, he didn't know either. Um, oh, I didn't read what that said. What that said. There are a clear picture of the crime by forming your deductions from clues. Track down the guilty party. Special job is not connected with the special education program. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, they are somehow connected. Mm, almost done. Ooh. Is that all we can do for now? Newspaper articles, they are missing. Mm, I think that's all we can do for now. All of the names match. Mm. What am I doing now? Oh, I'm still looking for a rifle. Map of Epping Forest. 
Hmm. What's that rifle? Hmm. There's oh. something on the stack. Rifle could have been there. If anything new is said, can you read it? Because I. No, nothing new. What are bullet casings? Oh, it's missing. This case must have been full of cartridges. Dear George, oh no, this is about a different one. Dear George, I understand, I do understand you, and it's so sad. Same as you, I can't find a job, not even the smallest thing. My children have nothing to eat. When I try to find anything, the bosses just say that they don't want wounded people working for them. Our military service means nothing. Our country used us in war, and now it has abandoned us. Nobody cares. Your friend, Jack. The Ripper. Order. By Her Royal Majesty, Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, I, Frederick Russell Burnham, Major of the British Army, declare, The country extends its gratitude to George Hurst an honorable soldier of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland for his valiant military service. The British Army hereby awards him the Distinguished Conduct Medal and retires him due to the injuries sustained while in duty. Major Frederick Russell Burnham. Hmm. Oh. Oh yeah. F. Imagination, talent, in that helps you to visualize objects and events useful in limited situations there was a rifle here hmm. george hurst took it with him makes sense b i wonder can we connect the pocket wait what's pocket um there was a wound and no No. No. Mm. Newspaper article used. Mm. Can we put it missing to the cover list? Okay. All participants of the S group could be missing. Okay. I think that's all we can do from that, yeah. Okay. So did you get any of the cards that you say you needed? Um, yeah, I think, I would assume so. I'll find out afterwards. Okay. Um, and I think, yeah, I think that this is probably a good place to leave it off. So. Um. Don't say it. Oh, you're awesome. Um. Yeah. Uh, sorry, just getting a link. Because I'm going to send everyone, to, oh, for everyone who's left over to Speedway's chat afterwards. Um. So yeah, I wanted to thank everyone for stopping by. Um, I've had a lot of fun with mystery with the first mystery game day. Um, on Friday I'm going to be back with Dead Space because I'm still working on finishing that up. Um, and just looking f forward a little bit. On Tuesday, uh, I'm not going to be streaming next Wednesday because uh, I'm going to be heading home for Thanksgiving. And on Tuesday, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to double back to Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning yet, because I know I want to do that at some point, or if I'm going to do another... I should talk in this direction, because that's where the mic is. Um, or if I'm going to do another Mystery Game Day. Um, just a quick ask in chat, which... So, since I'm probably only going to be doing one stream next week on Tuesday, um, which of those two games would you rather see? Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning or a random one? Yep, Dead Space on Friday is getting a three hour long one from 6.30 to 9.30. Tell me. Sorry. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think I should do for Tuesday. And once this wraps up, um, I would recommend everyone goes and checks out Speedwave's stream. He is streaming um, over on YouTube, and it looks like tonight um, he's doing Skyrim again. And I will post that link in chat. Highly recommend it. 
And what else? Me. Silence. Yeah. Um, people are still left watching. Well, there's some people for that. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else to say. The oven's going to beat pretty soon, so I'm going to wrap things up. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. I will definitely go back to this. Um, we'll see if this ends up coming back to the channel, or if this is one I just do on my own time. I'm definitely really going to look more into this series. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. This was good. Um, I'm sure not all of the mystery games are going to be as good, although that would be great if I just had 260 games just sitting around <laughs> in my Steam library unplayed. Um, yeah, so we'll probably get and miss with some, but yeah, good, really good first start. Um, and with that, I'm going to call it a wrap. No. I'm not? We're going to keep going for another three hours. Just say it. I'm going to say it. No. I'm going to say it. Um. Yeah. I'm bad at wrapping things up. You really are. Okay, so thank you all for watching. And that's no. not the one I need. <laughs> I'm kidding. Always remember, it's never too late to have a good morning.